Good afternoon. Hello. And, uh, and today we have a pleasure to interview my friend and a brilliant scientist, Dr. Marina Dabracheva. She's the founder and CEO of the company called Tridic Predict AI driven clear aligners. It's actually the first specialist we like to bring people who have innovation, but that's the first specialist who incorporate artificial intelligence. I really believe in that and I use um, chat <laughs> every day. It's become part of my life and I'm very honored what um, I, we can interview Marina today. And for our audience, we usually talk about sleep and somebody who sleep next to the snoring partners and different innovation in the dental sleep medicine, what gonna help to make this treatment easier. And I highly believe what the future of dental sleep medicine gonna be in the artificial intelligence and clear aligners and precise treatment planning using CBDCT and uh, imaging. And that's what we do in our practice. But uh, today I'm going to tell you a little story about my personal collaboration with Dr. Marina Damracheva. And uh, we will find out what it is to be the founder uh, of such an innovative, in such innovative field. So we met, I would say, four years ago. And I was really impressed with uh, Marina personality. She's a doctor, medical doctor by, by training, doctor of infectious disease. And um, in 2014, she got this idea of doing um, clear aligners treatment using artificial technology. She totally reinvent herself and uh, area of interest based on need or based on the area of her interest. So that's what we call passion. And uh, in 2020, her company got FDA approved and now she's on the market. And in my office, I had several cases, very successful cases. We did the treatment using uh, clear aligners from this company, and I'm very satisfied with the results. So again, uh, we would like to ask you some questions. So please tell me, Marina, uh, about inspiration behind starting your company and your journey as a founder of clear aligners company. Uh, thank you so much for inviting me and thank you so much for this opportunity. Uh, so yes, you've mentioned I'm a medical doctor by training and I just found out about orthodontics a few years ago from a friend of mine when he asked for my advice how to align his teeth. And at that time I knew nothing about aligners, I knew nothing about braces, uh, but I talked to a few orthodontists and asked about like how they move teeth and I also read a lot of articles on PubMed about biomechanics, bone structure, and the uh, outcome of this research was that doctors, that orthodontists used braces for majority of their patients, and they used aligners for mild cases, mostly for adults who had braces as teenagers and as they had a relapse uh, when they grew up. So... And the goal for the company and the inspiration behind that was to develop technology which would make aligners as effective or even more effective than braces. Yes, braces are the gold standard right now, but they also have limitations. So this was the major inspiration or the goal of the company. That's what we do and keep doing that. Uh, no, that that's a wonderful technology. But tell me, what... Uh, your technology with 3D scanning and, you know, incorporating CBCT imaging into the treatment planning, like seeing world in multi-dimension, because it's not two-dimensional, like we were trained in dental school with two-dimensional x-rays, it's actually three-dimensional, and bone have a certain qualities, and moving teeth through the bone has a certain challenges. So, Tell me, over traditional treatment planning, what's so special about artificial intelligence who constantly learning and, uh, you know, the uh, protocol, what you develop? Uh, so it's a very good question. Thank you. Uh, in orthodontics, we move teeth in 3D. 
So it's really very important to know what's inside the bone. And we've developed a technology which, cre which does the analysis of computer tomography, of dental computer tomography. We create 3D models of accurate 3D models of roots and bone. And we do the treatment planning based on real roots and bone. And at the end of the day, it allows doctors to achieve more predictable results. So they could treat uh, really complex patients uh, in a safe way, like in a more predictable way. And also they uh, could see that they could move teeth only within the bone. So they will not damage the periodontal health. Yeah, I really like that. And I'm going to ask you a question related to the passion I have towards the sleep. So tell me how artificial intelligence and um, AI driven clear aligners have a space in dental sleep medicine. I do incorporate orthodontic treatment into my sleep apnea cases. I don't want to capture pathology and keep it in uh, oral appliances. I want to change it. Um, and I would like to know your view on that. And I really like the cases what you do using your technology. So tell me your view. Uh, so like clear liners, like 3D predict could be a part of the complex treatment of sleep apnea. Yeah, it's like one step in this complex process. And so how you, patients could benefit from AI and from root and bone based on planning. So what is needed for sleep apnea? Uh, you need to create more space, so to create more vertical space and to do more expansion. For example, what you see on this slide is a patient that it has like a deep bite before treatment. And what we've done just in 14 months, 28 traces in 14 months, uh, doctor could achieve really good uh, result. So the, uh, you see the picture, the intraoral photo, correlates with what was planned. So because of AI, because of artificial intelligence, because we know what's going on inside the bone, we know the length of the root, thickness of the bone, we could uh, predict tooth movement in a better way. So that means that doctors could receive really good patient outcomes without multiple refinements. Because usually when you work with aligners, they require a lot of refinements. So teeth are not moving as planned. Then you have to do more and more refinements and it takes a lot of time first. And second, just because we incorporate roots and bone into the treatment, we can do bodily movement. Because how can you do arch expansion? You can do tipping, which is uh, not really good, but all doctors want to do bodily arch expansion. And what you could see here, it was a bodily arch expansion. It also it was distillation. Uh, and distillation up to like four millimeters could be achieved without additional auxiliaries. And it's Let's not possible. See. Yeah, it's not possible with braces without additional auxiliaries. Even like with braces to do distillation, you just have to do something on top. And then uh, we also could create vertical space by doing intrusion without, again, additional auxiliaries. So that's how uh, you can use AI-driven aligners as a part of sleep apnea treatment. So bodily arch expansion and like create vertical space. Yeah, that, that sounds like a, a dream. And um, I would, yes, you know, you mentioned, and I want to say what well, sometimes teeth don't move as a plan and we have to use elastics and patient hated and then, you know, mini implants and patient not so crazy about that either. And it's wonderful what with, uh, you know, new technology, um, we can uh, do more precise with the less aggressive treatment. I think patient really appreciate that. And, um, Tell me, how do you see the future of that technology in the field of clear aligners and orthodontics? And I also want uh, your opinion uh, if it can it can become um, uh, how to say you know if it can be done in a, any dental laboratory or dental office. I want you to mention about that. Uh, so the penetration of 3D scans of uh, com dental computer tomography is increasing. And right now, more and more dental offices have it. So they we could do the treatment planning based on roots and bone for like more and more doctors. So it could uh, 
so they could treat more complex patients and uh, just because of predictability they could do it like faster on average the treatment time is 30 percent faster if you compare to like braces or other aligners and i also want to mention we do not speed up the tooth movement we only move teeth with a physiological uh, speed uh, but what we do, we prevent refinements, unnecessary refinements, and we also could combine different types of teeth movement in a single aligner. So it reduces the treatment time by 30%. And also, uh, we already uh, create only uh, treatment plans for some of our customers because they have 3D printers in their office. Mm, it's a small percentage of our customers uh, but if they have this capacity in the office, they could manufacture their own aligners. Yeah, I think that's interesting, you know, because we all dentists, we are kind of artists in the heart. And yes, sometimes it's pleasant to do from start to finish. You feel so much in control of treatment. It's more, yes, it's um, in a way it's much easier to give it to the lab. And, in, and sometimes in some cases, people like to be, to do it from start to finish. I have friends who actually do their own crown. They they use that process and they like, and the Cirac again, you know, so it, 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 it has a place. And I think uh, your company give that opportunity to have a freedom, either send it to your lab or do it in the office. I think it's wonderful, like from a practical standpoint of view. And I would like to ask you, what advice can you give to aspiring entrepreneurs and professionals looking to incorporate advanced technology like yours in the dental field? I do get calls from time to time, somebody, you know, trying to, somebody not being in the dental field, trying to get into the dental field and make our life easier, but you did it. So give advice. What, how do you, what can you recommend? to people who are trying to create something new and exciting for us. I just found uh, the first, you know, just to find out the unmet need and just try to solve it. For example, like uh, when I started this business, the unmet need was that aligners were not predictable and actual doctors were losing money on like long treatment and they could not achieve really good patient outcomes with aligners. And so that was the unmet need which we solved. And uh, so I think the same, but, but there are a lot of unmet needs in dentistry or in healthcare. Uh, so just to identify, talk to your customers a lot. And uh, when you're thinking about starting the business or when your business is there, just to talk to your customers, try to identify their unmet needs and try to solve it. And right now we have the capacity of AI, uh, generative AI. So this allows us to solve problems that couldn't be solved before. For example, in our field, precise and accurate 3D models of roots and bone, I believe they could not be created without AI. Like the, uh, the old school like ways to develop software was not capable of that. So just find out the unmet needs and use the like, best technology available to solve it. Tell me how do you know, you always maintain the innovation and stay, you are ahead of, uh, you know, this field in the clear aligner technology. What's your secret? How you stay ahead of that? Uh, I feel like there is, yeah, there is no secret. We always and we are committed to invest a lot in research and development. So we develop our technology in a, in house. So we invest a lot on it. So we hire the best people in AI, in research, and this allows us to develop the like best technology. So there is no secret, it's just like consistent commitment, you know, to invest a lot uh, in R and D in research and development. You mentioned to me, you work with Google. Yeah, like right now we partner with Google and we are using their generative AI tools to make our treatment even more predictable. Uh, what is it predictable? It's like shorter treatment, less appointments. So patients are happy with a really good finish and doctors are happy just because like the treatment will be shorter and they could see more patients. 
No, I, I think it's wonderful. Uh, you know, that's a very, it's a cliche, but uh, for me, it's a beautiful cliche, American smile. You know, I yeah, think it's true. kind of, uh, you know, you're helping to create American smile. And in a way, you know, you, your story is an American dream story. So please tell us as a last question, uh, as a future, how uh, do you see using artificial intelligence in dentistry beyond clear aligner can improve patient experience? I think in many, many ways. Uh, for example, the diagnostics, the AI could increase the accuracy of diagnostic, for example, the cavity detection or implant placement or restorative dentistry, uh, like a lot, a lot could be done. The precision of uh, oral surgery. So AI could help a lot in dentistry, you know, just to improve the accuracy of diagnostics and precision of the treatment. I really like that idea because you mentioned to me in our conversation with your 3D planning, you also help uh, with, you know, you're thinking about implant placement. So like a complex cases, the cases what I usually enjoy the most um, with your technology that also kind of can be incorporated, not strictly orthodontics, but orthodontics and restorative on top of it. I really also, can you please tell us about conservatism, what um, you incorporate? I really like that case of what saving the tooth structure using your model. Yeah, so it's it's really important because you don't treat like occlusion, you treat the patient. And usually patients, if they're not teenagers, they already have like missing teeth, like crowns, implants, or periodontal problems. So our technology allows doctors to treat like patient, you know, not only align teeth. And like the case which I uh, shared with you earlier today. This so one, for right? example, yeah, no, yeah, this one. The, the, yeah, yeah, for example, if patient does not have enough space for the crown, like, uh, and you have to create the proper restorative space. So using our technology, we could do vertical movements in a predictable way. So instead of shaving teeth, you know, or um, if you don't have enough space for implants, our technology allows doctors to move like this vertically. For example, here, doctor could create proper restorative space to place proper crowns. Mm -hmm. And for example, like here. Also it, yeah, right. Right yeah here. here and here it also the place for the implant. So both like vertical and horizontal. For example, if there is not enough space for the crown, what could be done? You know, just to put a shorter crown, which is not good, or to put a bridge, you know, then shave a lot from like uh, other teas, from healthy teas to put a bridge. And our technology allows doctors to move teas like, like vertically and also horizontally to create proper space for a proper crown or for a pro proper implant. And at the end of the day, patients would benefit from that. Thank you very much. It was such a wonderful conversation. We're really looking forward for the next step with 3D Predict and AI technology and that conservative dentistry would really take a big space in my heart. We wish you a lot of luck, Marina. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for the opportunity to join your podcast. I highly appreciate that. Thank you.